Hey everyone, it's Button. I'm back with another video. Today is Monday, April 12th, and I hope you guys had a great weekend. It's the start of a brand new week, and uh, we can kind of make this week whatever we want it. So let's make something special happen this week, all right, gang? Um, not a ton to talk about today. Not any, like, VV news or anything like that. So I'm going to go over the normal stuff, and then I just want to talk about um, price trends and stuff like that, and just kind of what I'm seeing on a macro level, so you guys get a kind of a view of, of my perspective or what I'm seeing. Alrighty, so let's just pop over to the spreadsheet. Um, spreadsheet is going to be linked in the description down below. Um, spreadsheet goes over all the prices. It also has a couple portfolio calculators that allow you to calculate the total value of your portfolio. Just super cool. Um, please go in the description, click the link, and you will be able to utilize this tool. Um, cool. Alrighty, so let's take a look at some eBay sales. So, there were a couple cool eBay sales since yesterday, so we'll go through them. Um, We've got an Ultraman Common go for 92, Marina go for 40. We've got a DeLorean full set going 500. We have five BMO selling for 275. We have a Becky Cloonan Batman going for 599. Pepperino going for 70. Uh, Ultra Rare DeLorean 250, Darwin Cook for 69. Dolce for 60, Pogo for 70. I've been seeing a lot of Pogos go for crazy prices lately. I don't know who's letting those things go. Um, DeLorean Common for 50, uh, Bruce Tim Harley Quinn 171, 172, whatever. Um, a rare DeLorean for 80. We got a Corsica 188. We've got a Marina for 50. We have a Mooka for 79. We have a Prima Donna for 82. We have a Morea for 39. We have a Pogo for 88. We have a Risso Batman. Selling for that premium price up there at 5K, baby. Oh, that Risso Batman. Holy smokes. If you want that thing and you don't have it, you better have deep pockets, fam. Um, somebody bought a Stellina for like 98 bucks. I don't know about that. Um, oh, here we go. Mayor of Townsville selling for a cheaper price than the other two I had. Um, this one went for 485. This was the third sale, and it only took us like two days. I like never see these things, and then it took us like two days to get three of them. So I've got a full average on the spreadsheet now for Mayor of Townsville. This is how it works out, I guess. Um, Maria 33, uh, Corsica 180, Gelatina 19, uh, Ultraman Ace for 600. Oceana 22, Joe Madero Batman 275, Corsica 208. We got a Back to the Future DeLorean Rare for 77. We got a Bellina going for 112. Uh, Back to the Future DeLorean Rare for 139. Ultraman 7 for 175. Perla for 35. Metallo for 260. Full Mermacorno set for 630. Bellina for two, or sorry, for 128. Let's just see if there's anything cool on the second page. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up right there. Oh, right here. Nightwing for one oh, or sorry, Nightwing for one thousand and nine dollars, gang. Holy smokes, it's a big deal. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for the day here, yeah. Oh, wait, here's, oh yeah, there was another Starfire that went after that video I made yesterday. 1650 bucks, dude, holy mackerel, right? And this is where, like, the other video was, I think, so we're, like, right around here, so. We had a Mojo for 500, you know. Got a uh, Bruce Bollard Penguin for 325 and a Jay Lee Batman for 375. That's pretty much all we're going to cover today. Alrighty. So, I just want to kind of talk about the prices. I personally think the prices are starting to rise. All right, guys. So, one thing I was thinking about this weekend is is like kind of how the prices in the VV app are going to work. And I think I've, I mean, it's pretty common sense. So it's not anything. I'm not reinventing the wheel here, but it kind of feels like when the drops happen, 
there's a lot of people looking to sell and there's basically just a lot of of VVs available on the market for sale and like these people just keep undercutting each other undercutting each other undercutting each other and selling them for as cheap as possible like racing to the bottom but the thing is is that once the NFT is sold from one person to another it's pretty much very unlikely that that NFT is going to move again unless like they're like everybody's trying to lose money you know what I mean so I would say it's like once everything is kind of sold one time or moves one time post drop that's when the prices can finally start to rise and I do start to see them start to slowly average up a little bit I'm starting to see them go up doesn't matter if it's the Myrmacornos or the Unicornos it's just kind of like everything that was a little bit suppressed feels like it's moving back up a little bit so that's my take on it um I hope you guys are having a great morning. Um, but otherwise, oh yeah, sorry. Drop a sub, drop a like, drop a comment on this video. I'd very much appreciate that. Um, trying to get to uh, 750 subs so I can do another giveaway, all right? If you guys want free NFTs, drop a sub. I'd very much appreciate that. And peace.